I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So the Minnesota Vikings released Kellen Mond. One of those situations where now it is what it is, right? But kind of shocking at the same time. See, me personally, I think Mond has a lot of development to do. A lot more growing he is capable of doing. Now, hopefully they keep him on a practice squad. But right now, seemingly it's not what it looks like. So basically, probably he will be no longer a Viking. Now, will another team pick him up? Give him a chance? Dig me? I think me, he still has an upside. I don't think he has reached his full potential as a, as a quarterback. Of course, he has some growing to do. He has to get better. He has things to work on, right? Et cetera. But I think he can still be a good quarterback in the league. Now, what he's shown in this training camp in preseason doesn't cut it. He must get better. He must do better. Heavy. And I understand why the Vikings made the move. You dig me? He didn't produce. He got a full offseason. Got a full training camp. Didn't look good. Had some good moments. But still didn't look good for the most part, right? Taking in consideration the bad O-line play heavy. But he still has to play better. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm mad at Quazy and O'Connell and the staff for cutting mine, letting him go. It is what it is. You want to be in this league, a quarterback in this league, you must step up. You must show you can play. You ask me, he didn't show that. He didn't show enough. No, he showed some flashes. The arm is still there. Very evident he has the arm, cannon for an arm. But you need more than that in this league, correct? To be a quarterback, even a second string quarterback, a backup, you must have other attributes. They must all come together, right? And it must happen fairly quickly. Now, I don't think Mon played or performed to his best abilities. Yes, he missed a whole year of development. You know, yes, he may have gotten some unfair treatment. But at the end of the day, with this new regime, he got a fair chance, right? A fair shot, hands down. So you can't be mad at Quazy and O'Connell, right? They made the best move for the team. Now, will he get another shot? If another team picks him up and work with him, work on his craft, take more time to mold and develop him, he still has a shot potentially. I think he can still play quarterback in this league. From seeing him play at A&M, SEC, and just from seeing his skill set and his cannon for an arm, something you can't coach. But going off his performance in the preseason, training camp, etc., practices, it was the right move. I understand why the move was made. Yes, you want to see a guy like that get another shot, get more of a chance, stick around on a practice squad maybe. But they decided to cut ties, go separate ways, right? This is part of the business. This is the NFL still. You can't forget that aspect of it, man. Now ask yourself as a fan if you're mad, if you don't understand the decision. Now I'm hearing they release Sean Mannion too, right? Now if, if mine goes, Mannion should definitely go. Now we shall see what they do if they bring Mannion back to the practice squad and if they cut ties totally with mine, then I'm like, uh, what's going on? But I think Kellen Mond definitely outplays Sean Mannion, has more upside, is younger, has more potential, and deserves to be on the practice squad if any quarterback will be. But you know, we will see. But yeah, the decision to let Mon go after the last two games and the 49ers joint practices, you kind of saw it coming if Mon didn't perform at a higher level, if he didn't do something spectacular, if he didn't elevate and he didn't do that, right? He's still young, only in his second year. Another team may pick him up. You dig me? 
But if that does happen, he has to show up and show out quickly. Period. I'm not going to sit here and bash crazy and the staff for letting mine go. It's a business move. They did what they felt was best for the team. And I'm not going to bash Kellen Mond. I hope he gets the shot. I hope he wins down the line in the future. You dig me? Or get some type of job in the NFL or outside of it, whatever it may be. But I wish him success. You dig me? I hope a team does pick him up, give him another shot, work with him, take more time, you know? But you have to make business moves at the end of the day. It's part of the game. That's why preseason, if you're on the line, if you're teetering the line, whether you're on the team or not, if you want it, you got to show you want it. Take full advantage. You dig me? Every play, every rep, you got to take full advantage and ball out. Heavy. That's what it is. That's the league they're in, dog. Heavy. So do I feel sorry for mine getting cut? No. Do I want to see him get another shot? Of course. Hopefully it works out that way. We shall see. But if mine goes, hey, Manny needs to go as well. Dig me? Heavy. That's the bottom line. We're talking about quarterback play, practice squad, whatever. Mine outplayed Manny and dig me heavy. But we shall see what happens, man. But that's my take, my opinion on it. Kellen Mond, dog. No longer a Viking. It sucks, but it is what it is part of the game hopefully he gets another shot improves his game becomes a better quarterback fix the things that he needs to fix accuracy awareness etc etc and hopefully he bounces back man and can perform well one day be a quarterback in the NFL one day man but you know what it is skull heavy this is the business side of it let's get to it man them cheese heads, week and a half away. Heavy. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, hear me? Skull. Like that.